Okay, now, anyone that was gone yesterday, raise your hand. <laughs> um, if you're gone last Wednesday, put your hand up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You the only one. The only one. So, so I feel this hurt sometime. All right. Okay. All right. So I feel this okay, I'm going to hand out your test. Um, if you don't get it finished today, that's fine. We'll finish it tomorrow. Take your time. What about I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go through the instructions here uh, with you. Make sure that you put your name on it. If you need to go grab a calculator, go grab one right now. Uh, property sheets, all that good stuff. Make sure you have them out. Um, again, before I hand this out, uh, you, try Mr. to remain Ward. quiet as I go through this. I reserve the right to move you if I feel that you're not working to your full potential. Let's put it that way. What is that? So, anything you can. I'll put it for the correct. you understand your rights? This is a very easy test. He's on comparison with it. I think I'm just going to start with a bag. Yeah. <laughs> Wow, this problem. Can I stand it in now? I'll go through the instructions here in a second. Make sure you have your property down. You're getting working for it. Okay, uh, let's go through the instructions here. Um, um, should be pretty straightforward, but again, if um, if you're not paying attention, you could potentially miss out some uh, crucial information here. Ooh, um, easy no. for okay, all right. One and two, you want to simplify the more complicated side and turn it into the right side or the left side. Okay, which one's more complicated? Try to substitute down. Remember, you can use substitution, you can use Pythagorean identities, sines and cosines, you can use conjugate rules, you could, um, you could just do basic substitution like factoring, uh, distribution, whatever you need. Three, um, you're simplifying that down. Uh, it doesn't tell you what the right side is. You have to find it. It should simplify down to a simple trig function that's single, okay? Um, I've done all these problems, so they work out nice pretty. Uh, four and five, um, you're using the sum and difference formulas. You have to find the exact answer of that uh, by using the sum and difference. Uh, make sure you're using your uh, your unit circle to figure out what angles you should use to either add or subtract. Um, then use your sum and difference formulas. Uh, you have examples on this thing that can help you if you don't know what you're doing. You said no um, decimals for that. Right? What? No decimals. Um, Preferably, I want the exact answer as a fraction. No decimals are required. You shouldn't. You shouldn't need to type anything in a calculator on that one. Okay. Well, so, uh, can you have the Pyrene thing? Yeah. 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 Ye
Okay. Mm -hmm. um, ten. You have to use half angle formulas to give me the exact answer. Uh, I, you know, um, tangent has a couple different half angles. Just pick one of them. Pick the easy one. I always choose. Uh, Eleven. You have to draw the triangle. Then give me the answers for the three half angles. Okay. Uh, make sure you shouldn't have to simplify very far. Just leave it the exact answer. Twelve. Draw the triangle. Label A, B, C. All that good stuff. Uh, you have to find all the missing parts on it. Uh, now, on that one, there is potential that it has more than one triangle. Oh I only require gosh. that you give me one and just solve it out. Just give me one triangle. Okay, I'm oh, not requiring the second one. Thank you, Mr. Okay. 13, um, find the missing part there. I think the picture kind of oh, explains it, but the, the story problem should have it. Just do this uh, 14, this one yesterday. 14, you have to find all the missing uh, parts of that. Those, those are angles. Uh, it should be one set triangle when you do it. Um, and then 15, find, uh, answer the questions for A and B on that one that you should recognize. I thought you said around. we were going to do the Southwest stuff on the test. You literally were like the last one. You literally, when we were learning that, you're like, I'm not expecting you to know this for the test, but we're just teaching it anyway. You've definitely said that. Say that. Definitely we can be on the camera. Nah. So, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right. So I get three points when I miss it. Literally for you saying that, you definitely said that. I enjoy that. I don't, I don't recall. So, <laughs> we can look it up right. if you want us to. Okay. Edited it out. Name on it. Edited it. Make sure you're edited. working on it. <laughs> okay. Mr. Ward, I actually heard a rumor. We get all the points as long no. as we should. All right. <laughs> okay. Uh, do the best you can. Um, take your time. Whatever you don't finish today, we're going to finish tomorrow. What about? Okay, yeah, here we go. I don't understand. What if we don't finish it tomorrow? Do it tomorrow. What if we don't? Yeah, stay up this one. Until I finish. Slide this one down. You guys want to stay till like nine tomorrow? One more talking to you. Okay. Um, this one, uh, you can either do substitutions, um, you know, substitutions for. Um, you can use um, concrete wool. You can use um, cosines. Um, try to simplify the more complicated side to the right side. This one, when you do that problem, you don't know what the right side is, so you have to like simplify this down as far as you can. It should turn out to be one still so function. The bottoms, some are different formulas. Um, you have some difference. So um, make sure that when you're doing the addition or subtraction, you're picking angles from this to actually solve. Okay? Perfect. Alright, that should be.
Hvala. Hvala.